All right, we got a new one. <clears throat> All right, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, we got something new, bro. And this is How Strong Is Terror 3 Say Tommy. I was on YouTube and I was just scrolling and this just popped up in front of my face like uh, Say Tommy Terror 3. I understand it's like the fan, it's a fan manga. So, cause I, like I said, I call, uh, it's a while back, way while back when I told y'all that. Uh, that. You know, we got like tune, tune, like gag and tune, all that crap. But yeah, let's just let's just see, man. I just want to see how strong is this, this. Cause I understand he's fan, he fan, right? So I saw, I saw, I saw the thing, man. I understand. So yeah, I just want to see how strong this one is. Yeah, <laughs> let's check this out, man. Link up down in the description below and all that good stuff. Let's go. Three Saitama. The human Whoa. that was a terror. Three Whoa. Saitama. Terror 3 Saitama, the human that was able to take the name One Punch Man to the absolute limit, completely disregarding and overpowering beings with beyond infinite power. Throughout One Punch Man, Saitama. Alright, I know y'all saw the new um the new One Punch Man. Y'all seen all y'all know y'all see it all in my community tell. Yeah. Y'all see it. Yeah, y'all, y'all. Keep quiet in there. Yeah. I told y'all. Empty void. RIP Ichigo. Tama has been known for being the strongest throughout the verse, but this verse has been quite weak compared to other mangas out there. With the community taking this into account, a fan version has been made, Terror 3. The battle between Saitama and Garu at both of their full potentials. The battle between the human without evil versus the human who became evil. Beginning the fight with Garu's classic entry, appearing out of the- oh, I ain't gonna hold it, cause the fan made, this fan made when I was watching, bro, it had me so confused, like, what? Miss, but this time he doesn't just have the knowledge of all energy, but he has become a complete avatar. With a single thought, Garu can control all things and direct all forces to his own use. Immediately launching a punch at Saitama with the power of a supernova, this power is circulating throughout all of Saitama's cells, erupting, the explosion being so intense that it in itself scaling above the slow and great wall, destroying the entire universe. But Saitama isn't phased one bit, punching Garu straight in the chest, launching him beyond sight in an instance. Blast now using his abilities to collapse this event, vanishing the attack into nothing. Garu now realizing that Saitama's strength simply cannot be matched by anything inside the universe, so he's going to use the universe itself. But we're now introduced into what makes these characters beyond scaling itself, cosmology, revealing that the term or concept of infinity isn't able to be applied to the universe as it's simply irrelevant. Even models like the Von Neumann universe barely cover a small fraction of the cosmology. The Von Neumann universe being a set of finite structures that transcend mm -hmm. infinity, being placed at high outer throughout scaling with infinite and finite cardinals and this all is now in the palm of Garu's hand. Striking Saitama mm -hmm. with high outerversal levels of power, but Saitama just stops the attack with one hand, telling Garu they should fight somewhere else, creating his own dimensional time array where consequences don't affect reality. Garu now tapping into the multiverse, but stating that even an infinite amount of the universe we explained earlier still isn't strong enough striking saitama with divine power erasing all concepts of see when i had showed it right here i'm like bro so so this this the type of gag that y'all y'all want to see when, but in reality like in the manga the dude been a gag this whole time bro dude taking bath breathing out in space fart i'm still confused with the serious um sideways that right there will always confuse me I would never understand that move right now. Like it's a serious sideways step. The one he did with um, um what that um damn what it is not is it not flashy flash? It's sunny. Yeah, sunny, yeah, and sunny sunny dang. Yeah, that one that always confused me, bro. Like the dude that did serious sideways stepping, bro. Like how I, I can't even like what? I'm still confused from that space and time around Garu's body, destroying everything. But Saitama has finally decided to reveal the power that he's been holding back. But like I said, man, he just don't fit. Like I said, say something. I'll be telling you, I said, Tommy can, can, uh, can be set up as all three really get, uh, well, uh, well, of course, he's a joking gag parody character. He can sit all three. He can be considered all three. But, you know, like I said, people, certain people don't, you know, I don't, I would never understand that, like, it don't fit that gap description. That's all I see. When they say no, he don't. I'm like, bro, overall, he just doesn't fit your gap description. That's all I'm hearing when y'all y'all say certain certain things like that. But you know, that's just me though. Tune force. Tune force. Bro, you said tune force. Yeah. 
I mean, I've been saying two for for the longest, even in the manga. In, not like not the fan made, but even you know, like the the actual manga. Even the web comic here. She, <laughs> but I understand some people don't even watch the web comic, bro. Y'all better stay pay, pay attention to that, bro. Even though Saitama decided in time around Garu's body, destroying everything. Toon Force. But Saitama's finally decided to reveal the power that he's been holding back. Toon Force. Even though Saitama's finally decided to reveal the power that he's been holding back. Toon Force. Even but I understand it's, it's the fan rate, but bro. <laughs> I've been telling people, bro. I've been telling people this for the longest, bro. I've been telling people this for the longest. Even though Saitama doesn't have any space or time, he's still there, able to move around freely and fight Garu. Garu now transforming Saitama into a 2D character just to give him the edge and not allow Saitama to actually hit him as their different dimensional being. And, and I'm not trying to drop out such, but man, I be telling y'all that the dude, even, even I've been telling y'all, Luffy has Toon Force 2, but you know, people, people, uh, I don't want to get into that, man, but Luffy has Toon Force 2 as well, like, I, but what are we doing now the manga now revealing that the universe Garu has made is divided into endless lines based on its own number each line being straightened in sequence so that the starting line is itself the size of the universe and with every line overlapping the difference in cosmology is unimaginable beyond the own cognition of our minds but Garu defines this process of endless lines as a timeline strike combining an infinite amount of these endless line universes and stacking them on top of each other creating a high order timeline conversion strike and using it against Saitama, putting the One Punch Man through something that is known to be a high level of profound universe built on zero and infinite matter and reality. But Saitama just shakes it off, launching a punch at Garu, but Garu caused the reality in between both of them, cancelling out Saitama's punch. Garu now stating that all he has to do to defeat Saitama is change his underlying settings, but in the process of doing so, coming straight to a stop that none could get past. Mm -hmm. Every underlying setting of Saitama is the word invincible. Not a single one can be changed, revealing that Saitama <laughs> cannot lose. Garu now declaring that the concept of mankind will cease to exist. Not the actual mankind, the concept in a whole, but Saitama stating two words, fix it. Completely overpowering Garu and revealing that Saitama himself is also an avatar over this boundless set of cosmology. But as he turns his head to finish Garu off, he's shocked by what he sees. Garu's created a real universe, giving Saitama everything he could ever wish for. Yeah, I saw, yeah, yeah, I saw. I mean, of course, I saw the fan made, bro. I like, yeah, I liked that part right now, but then, you know, your boy, he broke through it. Money, fame, charisma, power, and everything else a human could want. But as Garu's walking off, finally thinking he's one, Saitama turns around, calling Garu's name, breaking the reality he was in, punching Garu, stating that he didn't stay in that reality because he's only a hero as a hobby. All the things he was offered simply don't have value. As Garu's appearance is falling apart, he seems to have come to the conclusion that Saitama simply cannot lose. The fight between them has almost destroyed reality twice, but out of nowhere, Garu has changed into his true form, turning to face Saitama, stating that the battle has only just begun, revealing that this whole time he wasn't even serious. But what Garu doesn't know is that the One Punch Man didn't even have to begin to get serious once during their fight. At any moment if Saitama became serious, Garu's dead. Overall, Terra 3 Saitama being a human that transcends the tier of Boundless itself, scaling to infinite layers into Boundless due to the fact that Garu's strikes did absolutely nothing, also having Toon Force and being an avatar to the cosmology of the verse. Speed, scaling to irrelevant and an accessory. I mean, it's, it's the fan made, so you know, you know. I know you're gonna have some people be mad at this one as he was able to transcend all reality and flow through our dimensions at speeds beyond tearing. So I guess our question has finally been answered. The human without evil has become victorious over the human that became evil. I can't put my finger on this, but this reminds me of another channel. It's another channel I'll be reacting to. I forget though. But now there's only one question left unanswered. Does this version of Saitama defeat every version of Goku out there? Personally, I think so. But if you disagree, let me know in the comments. But really, it's his opinion, bro. It's his, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying. Thanks for watching till the end. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. Also, let me know in the comments who I should scale next or any matchups I should cover. Love you all. See ya. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, yo. <laughs> Short, simple, straight to the point. Yo. Are you mad at it?
I know it could be some people I disagree, but you know it is what it is, though, man. Everyone's entitled. Link up in the description, all that good stuff, man. I'm out.